Hello everyone, this is another video on EOS some init launch. So we are going to talk about a few items which are happening in the US world and uh, we will also discuss uh, what you can expect in next few days. So first of all, let's go back to Block.1 website and uh, again they have reminded uh, EOS token holders to register. So we, as we have been discussing, it's very important everybody should, uh, if you own it in your own wallets, make sure that you have registered. We are now three days away from token freeze and uh, actually not even three days we have uh, uh, yes three days so it's 29th so three days uh, is not a long time because uh, we there are a lot of cases when ethereum network gets jammed and you don't want to be stuck on the last day trying to register and uh, it uh, doesn't go through uh, recently there have been some issues with the ethereum networks we were seeing some failed transactions and there can be a lot of uh, issues uh, when if you try to do it in last day now today we also going to talk about um, some people who are not comfortable owning their own keys or they don't have their own wallets and um, more importantly if you are not comfortable with the security of uh, keeping your of your wallets and keeping your keys uh, safely uh, there is a case for you to go and move your tokens back to exchanges so even though we have been always talking about uh, uh, owning your own tokens and all the benefits around it I would uh, say that uh, I'm getting a lot of feedback from people who are saying that they are not comfortable they are still have some very basic questions and they didn't really learn enough to be able to do that comfortably so I would say uh, if you're not comfortable maybe there is a case that you should put it back to Binance or whatever exchange you are trading one other benefit of uh, keeping it on exchange even though we don't recommend it is that uh, there is a, a discussion going on there is a case where Binance or some big exchanges may continue trading EOS when even when you uh, they are frozen now they will be doing it within their closed wallets so it will be kind of not like you know, not a real price discovery but because EOS has been a very high volume token uh, they may be able to may, um, get you some buyers and sellers uh, in the market so they, you may be able to still buy and sell uh, while the tokens are frozen uh, the other thing is uh, uh, the good news is that every pedia uh, which is the biggest airdrop we are tracking uh, on the snapshot uh, of this uh, genesis block they are now getting support from most of the exchanges they are saying that every pedia drop airdrop will be supported even the tokens held in the exchange in fact uh, uh, the good news is that every PDA is going to list very soon. Uh, many exchanges have uh, confirmed support for the IQ token to be listed very soon after the mainnet launch. So that is uh, good for the price of EOS, uh, but also good for people who are holding their tokens in exchanges. Now, coming back to what is happening in, in terms of news, uh, we already talked about it in another video. So there was a lot of uh, noise uh, today on the US uh, security loopholes. Again, we talked about it. It is a bug. Now, if you look at some of the other news, they've already started updating it. So it was fixed within like hours. So uh, if you see here, they, they've already confirmed and uh, not just here. So if you go to the Dan Larimer's uh, official um, news, like you know, official updates, he's, uh, he's very active on a developer forum. And uh, he has said uh, he has, uh, we have fixed all the reported bugs. And specifically, he talked about this Chinese report that uh, the Chinese report is FUD, it was fixed before it was even published. And uh, this is very good because he's on top of the things, he's uh, very comfortable. Uh, we are hearing more and more things about uh, uh, what is happening. So one more thing which uh, we heard is that uh, in terms of the wallets and everything, he's saying uh, we have, they have, they are reviewing the code, they are making sure that um, so everything is good, they are, the bug bounty is very successful. There have been um, a lot of people who are reporting bugs and uh, they, which are getting fixed. So I think uh, we are good. We don't have to worry about this uh, uh, security loopholes. Please ignore this. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, drop in price today because of this. Uh, we still recommend that if you are not bought enough EOS uh, which you wanted to buy, you can go ahead and use this opportunity to buy. Market is recovering now. Bitcoin has actually touched all the way down to $7,000 area and now bounce nicely. So we will do a little more videos on Bitcoin. I think we believe there is still some room for correction. Uh, we still haven't um, seen a, a very, very comfortable bottom forming 
but we are very close to the bottom if not already formed so you can start dipping into it uh, uh, overall so coming back to eos and what we're tracking so airdrops some people are asking what are the airdrops can you do a, a summary of that so what i would say is uh, we talked about every pdf which is the biggest airdrop uh, which is coming and uh, eos dac is the only airdrop which is meaningful airdrop which has already happened we did a video on keos so keos is again uh, coming uh, the snapshot is happening on 31st so these are block producers which are good enough i would say evolution some people have not got it we don't even know what the value of evolution will be don't worry about evolution uh, they are slowly sending the tokens out because uh, it's a it's a community which is not backed by any big money and they don't even have any uh, uh, they need a lot of ethereum to send this ethereum uh, airdrop out so i don't know how they are even funding that uh, it will be interesting to understand whether they are able to do that drop to everybody and they have another scale airdrop planned uh, uh, on the genesis block so they have a lot of airdrops which they have uh, committed and uh, we don't know uh, what kind of funding they will be getting so as of today i think the only thing which is closed is the us dac this airdrop has already happened completed if you didn't get it you are not going to get it anymore it's uh, the tokens are already burnt and uh, what we are talking about is in the snapshot branch uh, every pd and chains are some of the airdrops which we really want you to focus on now eos authority website we again what would i like to remind you that you can check your registration make sure you do this make sure you are comfortable with your registration key uh, keep your sec uh, private key secure now what else uh, is happening in uh, eos world i would say now everybody is just working together to uh, to make this launch happen and uh, the biggest thing which i think uh, we need to look at is whether this uh, all the block producer will come together and able to launch uh, uh, as a single mainnet so we talked about it in another video a couple of days back where eos new york has uh, got everybody together and almost 90 plus block producers have uh, signed the statement saying that uh, they will be focusing on launching a single mainnet and they are not going to support multiple mainnets so let us keep watching i think uh, uh, block.1 is uh, reminding again and again they are not controlling this launch so anybody who tells you that uh, mainnet launch may be delayed uh, that is a community decision it's not a block.1 decision it's not dan lerimer decision of course people will look up to him he is very active in the developer forum he is uh, giving his inputs and uh, he has said that he would recommend uh delaying launch if there is a critical bug but as of today uh if you look at the statements uh, he's saying all the bugs are fixed which are reported the bug bounty is still going on um, the good thing is he's saying that all the people who create fud will not get the money uh, under the bug bounty so he's uh, he's discouraging uh, some all kind of uh, sensational news on uh, the bug reporting one more thing is which people are not understanding perhaps is that eos is different from other blockchains it is designed to actually uh, be upgradable and you can uh, send these fixes whenever uh, there is a bug found and there will not be much uh, hit to existing uh, project so it's not like uh, you have to do a hard fork or something to get this uh, bug fixes out so these are the kind of things which you need to understand about eos it's very scalable it's uh, it's possible to go ahead and uh, uh, upgrade while the nodes are running uh, but of course as they find more and more bugs early that will be good for the community so that they can uh, be at peace they are not worried about uh, uh, some very basic issue which uh, can be found earlier than uh, minute launch so that's it for today guys uh, i hope that people are not worried about this news uh, remember media is uh, looking for some big stories where they can get you to click on their website that's how they make money so do not fall into the trap of these big headlines of uh, epic security loophole and so on and uh, again uh, the final thing is if you want to register your tokens uh, do it now uh, remember that this is a wallet registration if you want to add any more tokens to it you can buy it and uh, you do not have to re-register your wallet but make sure your wallets are very well aligned registered and you're not uh, waiting for the last day and uh, if you're not comfortable please send them back to your uh, exchanges you will get most of the things like iq token which is everypedia but uh, that will give you peace of mind 
also it will give you an option to buy or sell more later on uh, if you are on the exchange now the only worry i have with the exchange is whether they will be uh, swapping uh, the main net token fast enough because they need to go through a rigorous process of approving a new um, token registration and us mainnet will be a new token registration because it will not be the erc20 token anymore so that is something which we will be tracking later but as of today i think uh, uh, it's about uh, what confidence you have in owning your own keys. That's what is more important. Uh, we don't want you to take unnecessary risk if you're not yet uh, comfortable. So that's all from me. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Send us your feedback on what else you're looking for uh, from EOS. I think the, it's a very eventful few days we are expecting. Um, but just make sure that you're not listening to too much FUD. Make sure that you uh, join Telegram channels. Uh, follow the EOS uh, Blog, blog news from directly from Dan Larimer and other people who are very closely tracking rather than um, this big media announcements about uh, potential flaws and so on. Thank you. Bye-bye.